Hello there everybody, this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Space Station Silicon Valley. Okay, in the last episode we did um, the whirlwind tour, and in this episode we're going to do the second to last stage in the desert zone. Technically the last stage would be the boss stage, which I will also get done today. I'm going to record two episodes of this, and then one episode of Mystery Dungeon, and then tomorrow I'll upload two videos of Mystery Dungeon and the final episode of Space Station, so that's how it's all going to go down. Shifting sands. Warning. Scanners predict strong winds ahead. Probably those rotten carrots you made me eat. <laughs> Get something big and bouncy. Oh yeah, like they had to put one sexual innuendo to finish it off. <laughs> uh, get a flappy thing. Well, actually no, that's two sexual in innuendos. Get something big and bouncy. Get a flappy thing. Dude, the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. The dialogue in this game is crazy. Alright, so the beginning of the level you start off as a spinning fox and you have to go right down to the river. You have to go right down to the bottom of the river and then that's where the main world will take, well the main level will take place. Because um, right now we're not actually in the main area, we're at the starting point as I'd like to say. And we have to try and hop along these platforms here without falling into the water. And as you get closer to the end of the, well, as you get closer to the river, down the river, should I say, is, like, you can hear the music get louder. Uh, what the hell? Why am I screwing this up? <laughs> oh my god, I'm having a seizure, I can't get out of the water, I'm gonna drown and die. I know it. I know it, I can see it, because I'm trying to fight against the current, but the current is too strong. The current is too strong! I'm going down the river! Ugh, well that sucked. I <laughs> barely did anything. I just got one power cell and jumped across, tried to jump across to, or tried to jump across a series of platforms, then fall into the water and die. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Nothing interesting. <laughs> okay, so let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, the boss stage is, isn't that easy, I think, well, isn't that hard. Jeez, I'm messing up my commentary already. Great. We're off to a terrific start. <laughs> Commentary is messing up, and also my gameplay is a bit stale at the moment. I'm not doing so good. Uh, well, I wasn't doing so good at the start. Now I'm actually picking up the pace, I think. Oh, don't go saying that now, otherwise you'll end up jinxing it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got to jump across these crates. See, I told you. Uh, I knew I'd jinx it. There's one power cell on the island over there. I don't know if I can get that. I might be able to if I swim down to it. Yeah, let's give it a try. I'll have to jump to the side here. We might be able to get it. I don't know. Uh, let's try. Yeah, we did get it. Okay. I thought you wouldn't be able to make that jump because it's. It looks like it's too far out for you to be able to make it. All right. So now we need to jump onto this box, which will carry us downstream. And yeah, we need to make sure that we get that power cell on the ledge. Okay, I screwed that up too. What the hell is going on here, dude? I'm not even going to be able to get that power cell now. No, I'm not. I'm redoing this. I'm redoing it. I'm going to have myself killed. Water, just kill me. Vanquish me. <laughs> Ugh. Well, that was a dreadful attempt. <laughs> okay, I fell straight down the waterfall. That was awesome. Um, Alright, so I'm going to make a cut and I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, okay, I suppose it didn't take me that long to get back here, but I didn't want to show you guys me doing all that again for the second, well, no, for the third time, actually. All right, okay, so now we're going to jump onto this box, and hopefully we shall successfully make it down this river without falling into the water of death and dying. Okay, let's do this. <coughs> I, I thought I was about to screw up there as well. I thought I was about to miss the platform. No, I didn't. Right, now we can just jump in the water and go down the waterfall. There we go. And there's a bunch of energy down here too, so if you want to stock up on some health, feel free to do so. If you take, if you took a lot of damage getting down here, um, if you got stuck in the water or something like that, you can just go and recover your health. Alright, so the trick to this level is that you have to go into this tent right here. And basically what the tent does, it makes the sand go down and then if you well if you go into if we go into the tent right now right okay i'll show you a demonstration i'll give you a demonstration go into the tent and um you'll see that the sand has gone down which will make platforms appear and stuff so you can get up on ledges and things 
So the sand is the sand has um, shrinked. So now we can go down here and get these power cells that we couldn't before. And then obviously when you go back into the tent again, everything will return back to normal. So we do need to do well. What we need to do, we need to actually step onto these pillars here. And I forgot what these do. At. I forgot what. I forgot the purpose of standing on the pillars. I think they unlock a door or something in the level somewhere. Okay, I think we. Uh, I think it's this area up here we need to go to first because there are some pillars we need to stand on. Uh, we can't stand on that one, can we? No, because that's way too high up. Alright, it's this one we need to stand on, because the sand has risen, so we just try and jump up here if we can. Dude, get up there. Yeah, just stand on it, and uh, that should have done something. Uh, now that other one over there, that's the other one we need to get to, but I think we need to go into the tent again to rise, well, to, yeah, rise the sand. So... We'll do that now. Hopefully that will make sand appear where the other pillar was so we can stand on that. I'm pretty sure it did, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Okay. All right. Awesome. So now we should be able to get over there because that's the last pillar we need to stand on. And then um, we should be able to do the rest. of the level. Awkward silence and commentary for the win. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really got much to say at the moment. Let's try to get this out of the way, because this level's a real pain in the butt, especially when you get towards the end of the level. Because uh, there's one thing that you have to do at the end where you have to try and kill a vulture by using a kangaroo, but it's a different kangaroo that we haven't actually came across before, so... Yeah, it's a different animal altogether. And I know what I'm supposed to do, I'm being stupid. Alright, uh, okay, so we're supposed to go up here, but not jump across the platforms here. We're supposed to come off uh, down here, and then go up and round. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, this part surprisingly took me a long time to figure out too, but not as long as trying to kill that vulture. Because that's probably the hardest part of the whole level, in my opinion. But we're almost done, actually, surprisingly. Like, I knew that this level wasn't going to take me that long to do. It's not really a long level. And the power cells in this area is pretty easy to get because you're in a very small area. You're not in a very wide open world like some of the other levels have been. You know, you don't have to go look through every nook and cranny. This level is basically one of the shortest levels in area-wise in the game, because you don't really have to go through many different areas to get power cells and stuff like that. So it's just basically one big room, if you would like to say it in a much more simplistic term. Alright, so we're going to kill these kangaroos. And these are different kangaroos, yeah, we haven't came across these guys before. And they're throwing boomerangs. And that's basically their main attack. They're boomerang kangaroos. On a pogo stick. Jumping kangaroos on a pogo stick. <laughs> that should be like a catchphrase. Oh my god, that thing jumping on me, taking damage. What the hell? So yeah, this is technically the last animal in the game we will be getting... Type, Pogo Kangaroo, Environment, Desert, Skill A, Jump, Skill B, Boomerang, Water Resistance, OK, uh, Mass, Heavy, Armor, Light, Strength, Light, um, str wait, did I say Strength? No, Armor, Light, Strength, Medium, Traction, Good, Four Distance, Medium, Production, Long, Engine, Spring, and Intelligence, Medium. So it's like the Spring Ram. It's basically what it is, but it works in a different way. Because uh, when you add the Spring Ram and the Spring Sheep, he was actually in an anti-gravity area, so you could actually hop up and float. But the pogo kangaroo, you can't um, hop and float, because <laughs> there's no anti-gravity switch. Alright, so this is where the level is going to get really difficult, because we have to kill this vulture. And basically, you have to time your boomerang throwing precisely. Yeah, you have to time it 
pretty much spot on to kill it. All I can say is just keep jumping. This is going to be the most tedious part of the whole video. And I'm not really going to have much to say about this because well, what is there really to say apart from that we're killing a vulture and that's about it. <laughs> you know, nothing special. Unless we get it done quickly, but that would be a miracle if we did. Because I spent hours trying to kill this thing before. <laughs> And there's no other alternative of killing it either, so you're going to have to sit here and wait it out and try and hope for the best that your boomerang hits them. Yeah, we've got three hits on them so far. Huh. Patience is key. Do not rush things. Ah, right, there we go. We got the, we got him now, so... Oh, there's a power cell down here. Didn't notice that. Let me pick that up. Awesome. Right, okay, now we need to go get the Desert Fox again, because I think that's the only way you're going to get to the Vulture. That's the point. How many power cells do we have in this level? Alright, so there's four more power cells left to get. Awesome, right, okay. And then obviously, once I've recorded these two videos of Space Station, I'll go ahead and get up the final episode. Right, how am I going to get... Uh, Desert Fox up there. Maybe I need to rise the sand up again, I don't know. Yeah, possibly. Let's give it a try. See if it does anything. Well, actually, no, we won't be rising the sand, we'll be shrinking it, but maybe, maybe it might make a sandy platform so we can get up to where the vulture is. Who knows? <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, I was struggling to get out the tent there for a second. <laughs> Strange. Alright, okay, so yeah, you just jump up the same platforms you did before. Like, n nothing changes there, you know. The sand doesn't affect that, I don't think, anyway. Well, let's hope it doesn't. Well, by the looks of things, it might. Because how the hell are you going to get over there? There's like this huge jump you have to make. No, you're not going to make that, that's ridiculous. Uh, how about if we... No, you can't get up there, there's no way. Alright, I guess we're going to have to make another trip back to the tent again, because you can't get up there by the looks of things. So how do we get the vulture? Wait, I just did something? I heard a little jingle there for a second. Wait, what happened? <laughs> uh, are you trying to trick me, game? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, I think it is. That's a false alarm, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Because I don't remember there being a jingle there for, I don't know, it's weird, weird stuff. Ah, whoa, <laughs> almost fell off there. Ah, oh, well, I fell off then. <laughs> okay, well, that's uh, crazy. Arr. God, these platforms are so annoying to make as a desert fox. Well, platforming in general is pretty difficult with this guy. Because his jump doesn't go far, it just goes high. It's a high, well, not it's not really a high jump either, is it really? It's more of a short jump and a short range of um, forwardness, I guess you would say. Forward jump. God damn it. I need to get my camera angle right. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's just the camera angle screwing me up. Who knows? Well, that's one of the video. Well, that's one of um, everyone's worst enemy, you know, camera controls. That's everyone's worst enemy. Camera controls, camera controls, camera, camera, camera controls. Evil camera controls in every video game. You know, like in Sonic 06, and... God, I can't really think of any other games besides Sonic 06, I really can't. Because I haven't really played that many games that have really bad camera controls that make the game almost unplayable. But there are games out there, you know, that have really bad camera controls. Um, Sonic 06 being one of them, obviously. But in, 
in general games altogether, you know, there are there are times where the camera does screw you up and you end up getting killed by it, and I can think of many instances that's happened to me, even in good games. Like, Jet Force Gemini is probably one of them as well, where I've uh, screwed up on camera controls and died because of it. Super Mario 64 as well, you know, camera controls in that game can be quite annoying to use. Uh, there's a power cell here that I need to pick up. Well, commentary has kind of gotten a bit better towards the end of the episode, like it always does. Like, it's always at the start of the video, where I always kind of feel weird talking. <laughs> and finding things to talk about. Alright, there's another power cell up on top of this, where the teleporter is. And I don't want you. Well, you can't go in there anyway as a vulture, because the vulture is way too big. Vulture needs to go on a diet. Uh, I think this is the last, yeah, that's the last two for definite. Alright, let's pick these last two up and leave this place. Let's blow this wretched popsicle stand. <laughs> Alright, if I can get up here, that is. Yeah, sweet. Okay, I don't know if we need the Desert Fox or I can just get in there by using the microchip. I could try that, actually. Wow! <laughs> okay, I've never done it that way before. I have never done that done it that way before. The way how I always did it was get the Desert Fox up there, but that made things a hell of a lot more quicker, actually, because what I would have had to done is get the Vulture to pick up the Desert Fox and then bring the Desert Fox over to the teleporter, then transform into the Desert Fox, and then go into the teleporter like that. But it was obviously a lot quicker to use a microchip, <laughs> which I didn't know before <laughs> until now. So, yeah, trying new things always makes things better. Alright guys, I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Space Station Silicon Valley, we shall take on Punch-Up Pyramid, which is the boss stage of the Desert Zone, of course. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take everybody to see you in the next video, and goodbye. Oh, and also, we have got all the power cells too. Yeah, uh, I just remembered, yeah, because we've done all the levels now, so that means we've got all the power cells. Um, I should probably stop rambling, so I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.